Yo, yo, what's going on? Y'all, it's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Breakdown. And today, in this Help Me Devon Breakdown, we'll be taking a look at the Loudon Audio FC387 Atlantis FET Condenser Microphone. A microphone that has a very interesting characteristic of something called a voicing switch, which basically gives you the power of three microphones and one. I'll explain. Now, first thing we're gonna do is, and I know, you want to hear what this microphone sounds like. I will and do have to mention that Lawton Audio was so gracious to actually send me the microphone and I am extremely impressed by it, thus I wouldn't even be showing you. But I want you to create and draw your own opinion and conclusion from what I'm about to show you. So first thing is what we're gonna do is this. We are going to listen to the uh, Atlantis microphone versus another microphone. We're just gonna hear it because I feel like that's the best way for you to discern uh, and make a better conclusion of something compared to another. As opposed to, I could put any microphone right here and probably over the internet or wherever you're listening, it's gonna sound good, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an $100 microphone and put it up against or side by side with the Atlantis microphone so you can get a better idea and differentiate those sonic characteristics. So let's get to the first test. Okay, okay, okay. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the difference between the Loughton Audio FC387 Atlantis and the Sterling Audio SP150. Now the reason why I like to use a comparison is because like I always say, if I just play you or let you listen to the mic as is by itself alone, it's really hard to differentiate or if something sounds good or not because you need to hear it against something. And I always, I love doing that because I just feel like it just gives you a better understanding or just helps you to draw a better conclusion from it. So one thing I want you to know about the microphone on the left, which is the Sterling Audio microphone, is that it retails for about a hundred bucks. Now, one other thing that you'll notice as far as everything is I have them at equal distance from my speaking voice as well as having the capsules uh, at the same distance direction to my speaking voice as well. Off rip you notice and I have it in its forward setting because I like this setting uh, when it comes to vocals. The forward setting in, in this microphone is actually giving me a little bit more of that high uh, mid frequency uh, and accentuating those high mids and highs. Uh, and it sounds really, really nice on the vocal. It's a more modern sound. If you want something that feels a little bit more calmer and quote unquote de-emphasizes on the mid range, you can actually go to the neutral set setting in this microphone, which I'll show you later on as far as that's concerned. But we're having this side by side. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do somewhat of a plosive test so you can hear what plosives sound like this is the a, a big proponent and reason why i actually took the pop filters off because i really want you to hear what it sounds like so let's do a plosive test cool now let's do in a siblings test let's just add some s's and see what it sounds like Cool. Now, like I said, off rip, I can hear from the actual Atlantis microphone. It is the clarity and the detail that I'm getting in my top end and mid range is insane. I love the way it sounds. I know that this thing is going to cut when it comes to my mixes and it just sounds a lot more open, especially in this setting right here. I feel like this is where this microphone really shines. So that's a quick sound test in a comparison between two microphones. Let's continue. So in that first test, you noticed a huge difference between the Atlantis microphone and the Sterling Audio microphone. Like I said before, this doesn't mean that the Sterling Audio is a bad mic. I really like using that mic as far as, far as being a more budget friendly mic uh, when it comes to just showing it versus others. With the Atlantis microphone, you notice more detail, more clarity, and you notice that for less input coming into my actual DAW, I was getting a bigger sound, which was so pleasing to my ear. It sounded more open, uh, the transients were nice. I just like the overall sound of the Atlantis, especially in its forward setting. Now, speaking of the forward setting, we're gonna move on to our next test, which is the voicing switch. Now, here's the thing about the voicing switch. This is what makes it feel like you're getting three microphones in one. The difference between the voicing switches are this. One, forward, which is what you just heard. 
The forward setting in the voicing switch uh, basically says to accentuate the highs and mids, which kind of models things of a more modern sound. It's very bright, it's very open, uh, and that sound is to be adored and loved by me personally when it comes to something what I'm looking for from vocals, as well as overheads, as well as snares and things of that nature. Maybe you're looking for a more open sound. That forward sound is gonna accentuate those highs and those mids uh, if you're looking for that. The next uh, voice and switch is the neutral sound, which is said to have a de-emphasis on the mids and the highs, which gives you more of a vintage sounding microphone. Now, this is to be loved if you're looking for a more classic sound. Uh, if I have someone like an Adele, which I mentioned, or some type of folk singer or something that you wanna sound a little bit more natural or more vintage, this is a great setting to kind of bring back those highs in the mids to give you that type of sound. Experiment. Uh, you could use this obviously on different instruments and things of that nature if you're looking for a more vintage sound. The last voicing switch is the gentle setting. And with the gentle setting, it's said to tame those that harshness that you have as far as uh, what your sound source is concerned. In my brain, this is how I'm perceiving it. We're going from a newer sound to a more older vintage sound with the microphone. So obviously the newer sound would be the more um, uh, forward switch, and then the older sound would be more of the gentle, which is a lot more softer or just kind of calmer and more tamed when it comes to the mids and the highs. So let's hear a test of us switching between all three of those voicing switches right there uh, in the moment. Okay, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the voicing switch. We're gonna go from forward, neutral, and gentle. I'll explain what each one sounds like and you can discern when you hear the examples what characteristics they are creating. So, first and foremost, this is our forward setting. And basically what the forward setting is, uh, it's a very, very uh, modern sound. It accentuates the uh, mids and the highs. Obviously, it's very bright, it's very open, and it sounds super nice. I also like that it's still giving me a lot of detail in the mid-range, which is something that I pay very close attention to when it comes to these microphones. I'm also taking off the pop filter because I don't want to alter the sound in any way, and I'm also gonna make sure that I stay the same distance uh, every single time when I'm using the voicing switch to switch between the actual uh, characteristics. So now that you heard forward, let's move on, on over to neutral. So back here. Okay, and now I'm in the neutral setting. And basically what the neutral setting is, it's a actual de-emphasis, as they put, on the mid and high uh, high frequencies. And what this is giving you is more of a vintage sound, something that sounds a little bit more calmer and it kind of mimics uh, those older style microphones that weren't the brightest thing in the world, but they were more calmer and more laid back. Now, what I like this for as far as a vocal uh, is concerned is if I have, say for instance, someone that's like an Adele vocal or someone that is giving me more of a folk song or something that I just feel like, uh, I just want to accentuate the singer, but at the same time, something that just feels laid back or just calmly sitting in that mix, then I'm probably going to reach for this setting just to give me uh, that de-emphasis in the mids and the highs as they've actually described in their actual manual. So this is what the neutral setting sounds like. Still sounds great. I'm still getting a great detailed mid-range, but at the same time, it is a lot more calm in comparison to the forward setting that you heard before. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the gentle setting. Okay, and now I'm in the gentle setting. And the gentle setting kind of gives you even less, um, and it really tames that mid-range uh, or that harshness, as they've said uh, in their manual. They, they say that this particular setting is great for taming that harshness and things of that nature. Now, the way my brain is perceiving this quote-unquote sound as far as the voicing switch is concerned is, it's like we're going from uh, a newer microphone to an older sounding microphone. Uh, basically, it's going from uh, like a time period, if that makes any sense. So it's like forward is like 2000 and now, and then uh, 
neutral is an older sound and then uh gentle is an even older sound because of how calm and how tamed the actual mid-range is so that's the difference with the voicing switches as you can hear i'm still in gentle and that's basically giving you an idea of what it sounds like now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to shoot back up to the actual forward just to let you hear the stark difference between uh what you're getting from the gentle and what you're getting from the forward side so let's jump up to the forward and I'm back up to the forward. And that is a huge difference. And this is why I like this microphone and why I I am I am blown away by it because I'm literally getting three different types of characteristics from one microphone in one sitting. Okay, so with those voicing switches, you can basically hear a huge difference between the three of them and basically giving you the ability to change the sonic characteristics without even changing the microphone off, but rather just going between a wonderful switch powerful. Now, for our final test or breakdown, we're going to just look at the polar patterns. The polar patterns come in three different uh, uh, switches, which is the classic cardioid, which is a lot of your microphones, I'm going to assume, uh, obviously do cardioid. Second is going to be figure eight, which is going to have side rejection, but also allow for the microphone to be picking up signal from the front and the back. And then you're going to have omnidirectional, which is giving you a, a full uh, range uh, as far as how it's picking up audio from your sound source all the way around the microphone. So let's take a listen. Okay, so really quick, let's just test out the polar patterns, which it goes between three. One is obviously a cardioid, the other is figure eight, and then we also have omnidirectional. This is the cardioid pattern, of course. Let's go around right quick, and basically you're starting to get that rejection, starting to get that rejection. Nothing back here. You're going back around, and my voice is back, and it's the same for the other side. You're getting that rejection as well as rejection from the back as well. Now, if we go on over and we switch to figure eight, which is always a fun polar pattern. Okay, of course, we still have uh, uh, our front, uh, front as far as picking up audio. And then we can kind of go off to the side and we're still getting a, a fair amount of actual signal coming in. Now, once I go to the side, shoot, it's gone. It's basically a great way to get that side rejection. And then when we go right here, I have audio again from the back of the microphone. So it's basically picking up audio in two circles, if that makes any sense. One here and then the other back here. And I know it's going blurry because it's like ciphering between where I'm at. Uh, and that's basically what that sounds like. So, of course, you have your side rejection, which is over here. But it's also able to pick up audio in the back, as you heard before. Now, last one is the polar pattern of omnidirectional. So it's gonna pick it up all the way around. So as I go around, I'm still getting sound. 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 So that's basically omnidirectional, which I like to use when it comes to gang vocals. When I'm trying to make like a crowd sound, I want the whole room to get picked up. And I like that sound echoing and, and going. So those are the polar patterns as far as the microphone is concerned. Okay, so with hearing all of those tests and basically hearing the Lop Audio microphone, the Atlantis to be specific, uh, you can discern your own and uh, conclusions or uh, make your own uh, opinion as far as what you like about the microphone. I always, always like to compare it to other things, especially on the cheaper spectrum, so that you can really get an idea of what it may or may not sound like. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that breakdown. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And also, if you want me to test any other equipment, please let me know in the comments below. Tell the companies that you would love a Help Me Devon breakdown of their stuff just to test it out, see what it sounds like, and help you to draw a better conclusion about if you want it or not. I'll leave a link in the description below as well so that you can know where to find the actual microphone. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please make sure you watch the My Audio Nerds podcast every Wednesday. Uh, um, and then also make sure you join our Discord community with a bunch of aspiring engineers like yourself. Also, make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon. And once again, thank you so much to Lot and Audio for sending over this microphone. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Until next time, you guys.